Hello, welcome to Colonel O'Truth's Miniature Issues. So far in this series about Undercrag City, I've covered everything from streets and stones, to the construction and detailing of buildings, saggy roofs with hundreds of tiles on them, stained glass, chimneys, and even a waterfall cascading off an aqueduct. But I haven't gone into detail about how I'm lighting these buildings. Every building in Undercrag City has lighting in it. So I thought it was about time I gave you a video on how I'm achieving this. The buildings you can see here, and many of the others in Undercrag City, were constructed along similar lines, using card, balsa, and simple materials. I'll put some links below to episodes where you can see them. I'm using flickering yellow LEDs and battery packs. Each battery pack has a switch and serves up to around about 20 LEDs. Any more than this, they start to run a little dim. The interiors of the buildings are completely black. This is so that when the lighting is inside them, you can't really see what's going on. I didn't want to start having to get into furniture and interior doors and all of that. I'd never finish the city. Here I'm mounting two LEDs through a piece of card. This gives me a framework I can use to glue the LEDs inside the buildings. Each LED has a positive and a negative side. The positive side has a slightly longer wire coming out of it. The LEDs are wired in parallel, which means all of the positives are joined together and all of the negatives are joined together. Here I'm soldering them so that I only have to make one wire connection out of this piece of card. And a quick test. I'm using black wire that has a grey mark on one side. The marked side will be my positive. And I'm bending the ends of the LEDs into little loops to make it easier to connect the wire. This is called tinning. I've stripped the wire, I've twisted it, and now I'm soldering it. This will make it much easier to solder onto the LED and give a better connection. Just a quick blob of solder. Let it cool. and I can pull my LEDs through the building. I've added red tape to my positive wire to make it easier to find later on. I'm using super glue to glue this card in place, not my usual PVA. This is because I need a firm grip quickly, otherwise the wire will just pull everything out of place. You'll see I've got one LED for the upstairs and one LED for the downstairs and the textured glass windows will help to catch the light while also reducing the glare from the LED itself. Another quick test. It's quite easy to break wires and things while doing this, so you should test at every stage. 
Once these buildings are glued into Undercrag, it will be impossible to get to any of the LEDs or the wiring. So I don't want anything breaking down. Darkening off some of the silver wire so that it's not visible from outside. And now I can finish constructing the roof. If you're finding these videos entertaining and informative, please remember to like, share, subscribe, and if you feel like leaving some comments, please do. I'm happy to answer all of your questions. Watching this channel grow is really inspiring and keeps me motivated, so thank you. So here I'm making some window glass. I've got a piece of acetate, an old brush and some Mod Podge. I give it a generous coating of Mod Podge on both sides and let it dry. Then I can easily glue it behind the windows using PVA. You'll notice this is a building from much earlier in Undercrag's development, the Constabulary, that sits just near East Gate. I'm being fairly generous with the PVA. Even if it smears across the windows, it'll dry clear and it'll just help to obscure the light. I'm sure you can see now why I have to paint the outsides of the buildings before putting the windows in, then putting the LEDs in, then making the roof. It's quite a time consuming process but it's worth it. My roof beams are in place. I'm creating the shape of the roof with thick paper. This is just from a cheap artist's pad. Marking out my chimney, cutting a slot, doesn't need to be precise. All of my mistakes can be patched up with smaller pieces of paper or eventually the tiles. Once the paper is nicely glued in place, I add water to make it sag onto the roof beams. This gives me my old and weathered appearance. Then I paint it black. This is to stop light escaping through the tiles and also to give myself a nice background when I do come to glue the tiles on, easier to paint the final roof. This is a good thick coating of black paint. Here are my roof tiles. I've covered these before and I'll put a link in the description below. So here's Undercrag at the point that I had to install these buildings. As you can see the inn is still a black shell down below. I've removed High Chapel and the Ascent and I'm feeding my wiring through the spaces I've left. All of the wires run towards the rear corner of the city where I've built a battery bank and a bunch of switches. Here you can see the brightly lit windows of North Watch Tower beside the aqueduct. 
and here are the windows of North Stair House and the little houses beside the ascent. The lighting really does add something special to Undercrag. I can't wait to see dozens of buildings all glittering away. I hope you've enjoyed this, and I hope to see you next time. Bye for now.